My name is Jim Entz. I am the coordinator of CHAP, the Cultural Historical Awareness Program. It's an exciting program uh, that has been, after the pandemic, has, has been going for the last year or so. We've had some exciting speakers. We've had uh, Andres Chavez, the grandson of Cesar Chavez, speaking about uh, his experiences with the farm workers movement here uh, that originates in this part of, of the country. It was an exciting experience to, to hear him speak and to have a dreamer, a former dreamer, come and talk about her experiences in the valley. We have also had Leslie uh, Pilon. Let's give a round of applause and 20 more years of chat, right? She is one who has talked about the Constitution. And uh, it, was a, it was an interesting lecture. Other faculty members that have come and spoken are people like Jay Hargis, who spoke on uh, how we are like Romans. Rome continues to influ influence us, the world in the past and the world today. Richard Good has talked about the Anthropocene, how we have uh, in inadvertently become the agent of change on this planet. As you research, you tend to go down those rabbit holes where you get lost and keep wandering and wandering and wandering. Hopefully this won't be as depressing as I think it is. These speakers that we've had before, along with Veterans Day panels of, of veterans speaking about their own personal experiences, have been, in my view, very powerful and eye-opening experiences. You figure it out pretty quick. You learn to survive and you stick to that until you get out of there. Coming up, we've got some exciting speakers. We've got Dr. Ben Nelson talking about religion and secularism in America and how that's been affecting uh, the Anthropocene, our current theme for the year. We also have Edwin Barnhart coming to talk about breaking the Mayan code. Uh, Dr. Barnhart has studied pre-colonial American cultures for all of his career, and he's an exciting speaker that we're bringing from Texas to uh, talk about this. We're also um, going to be looking at Rebecca Baird, and Dr. Baird, a uh, history professor here, is going to be speaking about women and the environmental movement, and that also, its effect on the Anthropocene. Richard Good is going to speak again, and this time, backed by popular demand, he's going to be speaking about the moon landing. That's one small step for man. We have other speakers coming later on. Another speaker, Dr. Saragossa from UC Berkeley, Emeriti, who will be talking about the Central Valley, the farm workers movement, and some sort of a historical background about how that came about. So we have some exciting stuff coming up. Um, I'm hopeful that you all can join us. I'm hopeful that you can come and see these events. These are free and open to the public, so we encourage anyone from this community, from Porterville, from anywhere nearby to come see uh, what we have. For students, uh, there's the opportunity for extra credit. We do have attendance or, or uh, proof of attendance uh, tickets that are available for students who uh, come to the events, so you can have that uh, to show to your um, teachers and for your classes. So thank you very much. I appreciate um, all the people who have shown their interest before with CHAP. It's an exciting kind of collaborative community that I've been involved with, and I've been excited to share my interests in that um, with the rest of the college. So hope you can come out to some events. Thank you.